Hey, where's this plane coming from? From Los Angeles. She's due over Rocky Point in ten minutes. Cavalry, 56, East South, reporting. Everything working fine. Just passing with Shiloh Mountain. Altitude, 6,000. Ceiling, about 3,000. Heavy clouds. Will it be all right if I talk to him? Sure, go ahead. Hello, Tim. This is Anderson speaking. Why don't you turn back before it's too late? This is one time they'll find they're not handling an unsuspecting kid. I'm going to ride this out to the finish. You won't have a chance if anything happens. I'm hoping they do knock me down. If they do, I'll be right handy to pick up any trail they leave. On time to the minute. Kicked out. Won't pick up. Where are you? About five miles from Rocky Point. I'm pretty close to the spot where Jimmy crashed. Can't you set her down? No, not a chance. An eagle might land in these rocks, but you couldn't land a ship. <laughs> Caterpillar Club's gonna get a new member. Well, there's going to be another dead pilot. going to crash. I bet you 50 bucks he packed up within 10 feet of that big rock. 50 bucks you're wrong. What is fast? Fix your nose in that gully. You're wrong. What do you say, Frank? That four aces cleaned me last night. I ain't got a dime.
going too fast. Tell Anderson to have the department to take out every fence in town. Keep a lookout for these bonds. There's nothing more I can do. I'm bailing out. Go on. Get a hold of the chief right away, Bill. Okay. Welcome, Gate. I guess you pay me. I'll pay you later. Hustle these into town. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I deliver them. Hello, hello, is this Union Pacific? Well, I want to make a reservation on the uh, transcontinental flyer leaving tonight to Shiloh. What's that? Holden's Flagstaff is the nearest station? Well, that'll be all right. The name, it's 
Natalie Brent. Yes, yes, that's right. Thank you. Hey, it's about time Charlie's showing up, ain't it? Trying to be funny? No, but he's been gone four days now. Would four days in town be enough for you after six months out here? Take that long to get filled up on the ham and egg. Be quiet, will you, while I do this. ELB calling WAD. ELB calling WAD. Come on in, WAD. ELB calling WAD. ELB calling WAD. Come on in, WAD. Your time, Raymond. Tough luck, Flagging. I learned to do that if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> Charlie's calling. He wouldn't tell me what's wrong. Seems like something's worrying him. mind beside your hair. I'll cut the kid and the bonds are gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? I was tailed from the minute I hit town. I thought it was a fence and I laid low for two days. All right, never mind that. What happened to the bonds? I tried to deliver them to Louie this morning, but a couple of Tim Toomey's men waylaid me. And tell Dawson he's figuring on chiseling in on us. That's what he thinks. Well, he's heading out there right now. What does he look like? He's about five feet, nine inches tall, and he's got a... Gun. Charlie! Charlie! He's through talking. I wonder who done it. Well, he was trying to warn us about Tim Toomey, wasn't he? Charlie! Well, I don't know what Toomey looks like. But it's going to be mighty unhealthy for any stranger that shows up around here. Is he dead? No. Most of them got him in the shoulder. He'll pull through. Take care of him. I call the ambulance. Looks as though we're going to have company. You better keep under cover.
pretty optimistic, aren't you, trying to hitchhike on a road like this? Oh, no, no. That thought never entered my mind. Oh, I beg your pardon. I should have known you don't look like the usual run of hitchhikers. Yeah, Mr. You know... Well, hitchhikers don't usually spend the time sitting around on rocks, do they? Well, some of us do. You, you see, there are all sorts of ways to do it. There's really quite an art to it. For instance, the ordinary way. And then there's the careless way. Which, of course, means nothing, but there's a commanding way that... That can go on indefinitely, and nothing ever happens. Well, which uh, do you find the most successful? Well, I, I usually like this one. Are you going my way, mister? But speaking of going places, which way are you going? Well, I, I'm going any way at all, but preferably straight ahead. That's the way I'm going. Want to get in? Thank you. Oh, no, no. No, don't bother. You see, I've climbed over a lot of wheels. I, I've really done an awful lot of riding in. <laughs> well, wait just a minute. That's all right. That well, you're coming up in the world now. Well. There you are. more comfortable if you toss that in the back. Well, at least I'd be able to hold on. You're from the East, aren't you? Yes, I am, but I was born in the West. Straight quite a ways off the beaten track. Where are you going? Straight ahead. Oh, I see. These are pretty thick, aren't they? Really? I hadn't noticed it. The sun's getting pretty hot. I don't mind it as much as the mosquitoes. Whoop. Careful there, Henry. Careful. I say, would you mind giving me my suitcase? I think it'll be a little safer up here. We might see some of the wreckage of that plane that cracked up here last week. Ten people were, we're killed. We're near Shiloh, then. 
Yes, but if you're expecting anyone to meet you there, you're going to be disappointed. Well, I'm not going to Shiloh. I remember reading about two planes cracking up in this section. You know, Shiloh is a kind of a ghost town. When Brent closed down the silver mines down there, the entire population moved out overnight. Hasn't been anyone there in years. Well, this is as far as I'm going. Thanks very much for the lift. I think I ought to follow her? No. When I mentioned Brent's name, she almost gave herself away. She's probably here for the same reason we are. Never saw him before. Ooh, hi, Hi, boys. Mind if I get down and visit a little? Keep your hands where we can see him. I was just going to tie my line. Well, that ain't necessary. Get out of that wagon. Get his guns, Raymond. He ain't packing his guns. Well, we ain't taking no chances. Get him away from this wagon. You heard? Now, would you mind telling me what this is all about? Did you meet anybody on the road today? No, you're the in three days. My old man always said shoot first and ask questions after. What brings you to this town? I heard Shiloh was deserted and I was just poking around looking for gold. Well, you're wrong on both counts. It ain't deserted and there ain't no gold. Insinuating that strangers aren't wanted? That's right. Now get going. Well, Henry... I guess it's time to go. Reach for the sky. I don't start anything because my nose is itchy and it makes my fingers twitch. Get the guns, Henry. Okay, Kim. Kim to me. See, what'd I tell you? Shoot first and ask questions after. My old man was right. What are you covering up here? Are you Tim Toomey? Do I look like him? Well, uh, he said you were. So what? Now, which one of you is going to do the talking? Watch these fellows, Henry. Who are you, anyway? Natalie Brent. Brent. Looking for your father? Yes, I am. Where is he? What made you think you'd find him in a ghost town where no one's lived for years? I won't tell you. The bond robbery? My thief. The failure of motors on the mail though, made you think he might be here, eh? Now, you stay in there till I come back. Thank you. 
Better talk and talk fast. A couple of miles out of town. Well, you're taking me there. Yeah, you and who else? Some of my boys, of course. They're handy if I need them. You're crazy. If we've done anything like that, the boss would murder us. What do you think I'll do to you if you don't? Well, you got the bonds. What else do you want? A cut in on your racket. I know you fellas got a way of knocking these mail planes down. And you know in advance when they're carrying anything worth taking. You gotta give us time to talk this over. All right, but don't do anything foolish, because I'll watch you. That girl we picked up on the road is Brent's daughter. She's locked up in the closet in one of the rooms. Listen, Toomey will kill us if we don't do what he tells us. Our only chance is to lead him to the hideout and let the boys take care of him. Yeah. Are you figuring on taking your boys along if we do what you want? What difference does that make? There's always a lookout up at our place. If we go up there with a bunch trailing us, well, looks like it couldn't be nothing but a pitch battle. Well, there's something to that. I'll go along with these fellas. You get in touch with the boys and trail us. Okay, Jim. We got some horses right over there. Just a minute. That's where we're going. Who's the brains of your outfit? Dawson, and he's plenty smart. It's Shorty, Frank, Raymond, and Mac. But I don't know the other fellows with them. Sure ain't Dawson? Sure I am. Here, take a look. Must be okay. The boys wouldn't be bringing him here. Yeah. How do we know he ain't holding a gun on him? Yeah, you boys lie low and keep him covered. I don't like the looks of this. This is a gent you all heard about, Kincaid. Tim Toomey. I'm glad to know you. You look it. But don't worry, I'm harmless. Tim didn't want to bring his boys along. Afraid you fellas mightn't understand. What does he mean, your boys? They're waiting for me back down there a ways. Oh, I see. Then he didn't come here on business. Well, business and pleasure combined. Just a little friendly visit to look things over. How do we know he ain't running the bluff? I never bluff. Who is this man? What are you doing here? Uh, I can answer that all in one breath. Tim Toomey's the name, if that means anything to you. I suppose you're Dawson. I might have guessed there was only one man in the West with nerve enough to do what you've done. I don't mean getting those bonds away from that thick-headed fool, Charlie. That wasn't so much of a trick. But to walk in here single-handed, that's Just really... a minute, Dawson. You ain't got the straight of this. No living man can walk in here the way he did and get away with it. Even if he is Tim Toomey. It wasn't him alone that made a smart time. He's got a lot of men waiting close by. In case he don't come out of here alive. So we've been kind of waiting for you to see how you want to play the hand. Well, now that you're here, come on inside. Sit down. Thanks. No, thanks. Say, these are pretty comfortable quarters you've got here. Well, what's on your mind? 
this racket of yours. I was thinking you and I might get together. Is there any reason why we should? Several. Really? What are they? In the first place, you've proved you can't work alone. Letting those male pilots live was a great mistake. They should have been found dead in the wreckage of their planes. That way, no one could suspect it was anything but an accident. In that case, these might be worth some real money. If it is, they're not worth a dime on the dollar. Quite interesting. Then there's Brent. Who? How long do you think you're going to be able to keep him undercover? You know, you ought to watch your publicity a little closer. These newspaper clippings here, well, they caused me to do a lot of tall thinking and they're liable to affect somebody else the same way. I have the slightest idea what you're talking about. You've made so many mistakes. One of the G-men hadn't been on your neck long ago. Maybe they're not as clever as you are. Maybe that's the reason they haven't been able to put a finger on me all the years I've been operating. Any other reasons you'd like to mention? Uh -huh. Several. But there's no use discussing them here. You know the value of this arrangement I'm suggesting. With you and me handling those planes and my men looking after things in town, wouldn't be any slip-up. It's a natural. Sounds pretty good. Say, I'd like to know how you knocked those planes down. That's a swell like it. Well, if we get together on a deal, you'll find out how it's done. In the next day or so, there's a big shipment of currency going to New York. And the plane will pass close by here. Suppose you call your boys in and we'll go into it. That won't be necessary. Any deal I make is satisfactory. There's a fellow to see you, Tommy. Any of the boys with you? No, but uh, they're getting mighty nervous. They're just about ready to blow this place off the map unless you show up pretty soon. Oh, I'll take care of them. It's going to be a pleasure to work with a man like you. It goes for me, too. I'll see you later when your boys get here. Right. What do you think of him? Did anyone see anything of his men? No, Blackie said the only one they saw was the man that just left with him. That's funny. A bunch of bosses ought to be easy to see. You mean they may be alone that nobody was with them? I told you Toomey had plenty of nerve, didn't I? I'll start some of the boys riding. Where's Miss Brent? That's what I have to know. Didn't you find her? I searched every room and closet in that hotel. All I could find was a shortwave radio set. Is it working? Perfectly. Well, then you get right back and call headquarters. Tell them to send a plane out here with five or six men in it right away. Well, where am I going to find you? Oh, I'll be around. Brent's hidden around here somewhere. I'm going to try to locate him.
Hurry up. Give me that gun. Get over behind that tree. Hurry up. Come on, put your arms around that tree. Put them around that tree. Get your arms around that tree. Come on. USX. Calling USX. On 12 meters. Calling USX. Come in, USX. Come in, USX. USX, go ahead. Brownlee and Cavalry reporting have located the cause of plane crashes in Shiloh Mountains. Send a plane with about six men to a deserted house about two miles from Shiloh. They can see it from the air. Okay, right away. Right. Don't shoot, I'm an arm. Who are you? Are you Jotham Brent? You know my name? 
I'm from the Department of Justice. We've been trying to locate you. Would that ray stop a motor at a distance? Yes. Then it's your ray that's been knocking down these planes. Dawson operated the machine. How did he work? I brought him here to help me with my experiments. Still sore with that message you're trying to fix? I'm doing the best I can. Well, you better look everything over careful. Dawson to want you saying this time that something won't work. Looking for someone, miss? Well, yes, sir. A man named Brent. Do you know him? Well, uh, who might you be? I'm Natalie. Jotham Brent is my father. Oh. Well, come with me, miss. Then he's here? Why, yes, of course. Has, uh, Brent discovered what's wrong with these apparatus? No, he's still trying to fix it. Again? Why, I thought you were. Yeah, I'm not a ghost. I'll tell you about it later. Hey, Brent's daughter's outside. Brent's daughter? Yeah, I met her down the road. She's looking for her father. Bring her in. I'm glad Charlie saw you. Did your father send for you? Well, no, he didn't, but I was anxious not hearing from him for so long. Well, we don't have mailboxes on every corner out this way. Where is he? Busy in his laboratory. I'll take you to him in just a minute. Say, aren't you one of the men I saw in Shiloh? Oh, the time Tim Toomey held us up? Hey, when did Toomey have a gun on you? Well, he showed up in Shiloh like you said he would with a gang of men and stuck us up. When? Oh, about a couple of weeks after he shot you. Why, you're crazy. Toomey gunned me all right, but the G's got him before he could make a getaway. Toomey's in jail in Los Angeles. Here's the proof of it. Well, well. This is news. Toomey will be glad to hear it. Yeah. Won't he? See if you can find Tim. Give him my compliments and say I'd like to see him. As me to learn, he's from the Department of Justice. Come on, Miss Brent. We'll go and see your father. Here go. And all the time they've held you prisoner, you've never let them know how the apparatus works? It would be a horrible weapon in the hands of unscrupulous men. Your best bet is to say that. They think I'm a gangster named Toomey, so I can work from the inside. Dad. Darling. Why, you're a prisoner here. Who is this man? Why, you're entirely mistaken. We're not holding your father prisoner. We're just protecting him. Aren't we, Brent? Yes. That's right, Natalie. Why, there's nothing to worry about. Your father can walk out of here any time he pleases. That is, uh, just as soon as he completes a little business deal we're in together. That's true. Don't you think we can finish up our business pretty quick now? There's a plane coming over this afternoon. Why, they're using your radium ray to rob and kill. There were women and children on that first plane that crashed. They told me they were only the pilots, and that they had parachutes. Oh, 
why the young ladies had a little too much excitement. She ought to rest. Now, you go through with our program, get that thing working, and everything will be all right. I only have another adjustment to make. It won't take long. Fine. Now you're talking sense. You come with me? Where does that door lead? To the living room in the house. holding Brent's daughter at the house. There's a plane coming over. It's a little early. Get Brent working. on your mind. Dawson wants to see you. That's fine. I want to see him, too. He's in the house. Keep your hands in the air and don't reach for that gun now. Here, Henry. Take care of him. Jim, I've been waiting to see you. So I understood. Come on, sit down. Contact your men, all right? Yes, they were waiting for me. Waiting with you? They'll be along in a little while. Well, uh, while we're waiting, will you take a look at this? It's really quite interesting. You ought to sue that paper for libel, Tim. Saying that you're in jail when we all know you're here. <laughs> Looks like the joke's on me, doesn't it? Oh. I wouldn't say it's a joke. Get him up. All right, Charlie, come here. That plane we saw is a government ship. Better shut up that projector. Better get it started again. It's just too bad, Copper. You're a little bit too late. Dolly, take care of him. Start that ray. Come on, get it started. Thank <laughs> you. 
safe place and then cover the mine entrance. You stay here. Put the handcuffs on these fellows. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Henry will show you the others are. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Young man, I don't know who you are, but I sure am grateful. Dad, I want you to meet Mr. Rep. Mr. Would you mind giving me your name? Not at all, she was just naming the date. <laughs> 